So what's going on guys, Mark here, to, and we're here today in a hurricane so you don't have to be. I'm actually gonna try and check out the traction control and also the autopilot on the interstate. I wanted to see when we get these little 40 to 60 mile an hour gusts, how far like the car will drift out of the lane. Winds are light in some of the areas in here, but those gusts that pick up, that's what we're gonna try and see because I wanted to find out for you what this will do, like in the instance that you're driving, you can get a good strong crosswind. So. Right now the winds are out of the north, uh, I think it's like north-northwest, and we're gonna do a couple of things in a parking lot here. I know there's a parking lot that has lots of uh, brand new like uh, asphalt surf resurfacing, so it's gonna be really slick. We're gonna hit that up. Uh, we're gonna see how, uh, how the car handles when you start to get on it in, and do some slides and whatnot in that there when it's soaking wet like this. So, all right, so here, here, uh, this is pine needles and asphalt. Uh, that was, well, it looks like it was resurfaced, but yeah, let's go. So I'm just gonna do like left turns and then just stomp on it. See, grabs. And it just, I don't know. I don't know how they do it except for the motors. Like Elon Musk says, the uh, the motors respond in milliseconds rather than you know long periods of time like you would have if you're, um, if you are uh, with a traditional transmission type car. So uh, I can't get it to spin out right there either. So. We're going to go through this little section kind of slow here because I don't know how deep it is. There we go. So I'm going to start on a sideways little front wheels to the side a little bit and just go. I just can't get it to spin. I mean, I can, but it's not like... I'll go over here. It just doesn't. I don't know if you saw that. That was in a full on going to be a right hand drift right there but those you could hear the right wheels just stopping the, the spin of them and it instantly just quits all right so we've got this done we've got the camera in the back so you guys can see the back of the car and how much it drifts and the whole key to this is really just being at that angle and trying to get it to slide out from underneath you but it it really doesn't i'm full throttle all the way down and it just doesn't want to go. So you guys can get the idea there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, quick little drive out here and get out. But this is the slickest parking lot I am really going to find. There's, pine, like I said, pine needles and everything. So Let's see if we can bring it around here. It just doesn't. I don't know how to, I mean, I know how to get it to do it. But. And as Elon, I'll quote him, the car will make you feel like Superman. And he says that, I think it was Superman. So, well, I really can't get the car to spin out on, on slick resurfaced asphalt. We're gonna try and do, and I'm not saying spin out, but lose traction. Uh, it is spinning a little bit, but those, you can hear the motors just duh, 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 like that. And it goes quick there, so. Now we're going to go up this little hill right here and do a full-on start right here. This is probably going to be a good example of if you're on a bridge or an incline, and I've got the car basically um, holding it with a little bit of accelerator going forward. So we're going to just give it full. Nothing. Nothing at all. So we're going to get out here and do it on a real-world situation. We'll get out on the roadway. Uh, and make these right-hand turns and a couple of different ones. And then we're going to go out to the interstate, put the car on autopilot, and also um, see how this car responds in higher winds like that. So. It really doesn't. It's so phenomenal. So I got one more little turn I'm going to do. I'm going to spin around this one up here, and then we're going to uh, head out to the interstate. All right, this one here is a good concrete situation, and I'm going to go around this turn. There's a little bit of standing water on the roadway as we make this turn, and it transitions right into asphalt. So there's going to be two different types of uh, surfaces here, and let's, uh, let's hit it. It does good. It does amazing. I mean, that's what it does from concrete to asphalt. You know, they're close in um, their grip there, but car does well I'm I'm super excited about it I don't know how to explain it they say they do testing on ice sheets or ice 
um, covered lakes in uh, either Poland or Canada, but uh, we don't have that here, so we've got the next best thing, which is asphalt and water. That's about it. All right, here we go. I don't know, guys. It's just, it doesn't, like I said, I just can't stress it enough. It doesn't spin out. It doesn't lose traction. All right, so we're going to head out to the uh, interstate here, join along. I want to get down some of those roads, feel that gusting wind coming through, and uh, that's that. So our traction control test passed. It did phenomenal. All right, we're, we're pretty much close to the interstate here, and I'm watching these clouds, and these clouds are kicking. Uh, once this car stops, I'm going to let you watch that. They, This is not... Um, me speeding up the film here that you guys are watching on screen here. This is actually how fast the clouds are kicking through like that. And I wanted to turn it on on this road here because we got uh, uh, we got a good crosswind that's coming through like that. But if you watch those clouds, this is real time. That is not sped up. We're almost to the interstate here. And, and like I said, I've got the autopilot on. I wanted to see how it handles here when we start getting these little gusts coming through. All right, the set, speed set for 53. We got a car in front of us. We'll see if it follows it onto the interstate. Interstate, it usually does. Um, we'll see. There we go. We're navigating on autopilot now, so that is awesome. Nothing coming from that side. We're looking good. And we've got this up here, and those trees are whipping. This is going to be a good example. see if the car gives me a sooner uh, warning to put some pressure on the steering wheel usually it's been about 15 seconds or so uh, we're gonna get up to just under highway speeds it's 70 right through here so we're gonna bring it to right around 65 and those winds are kicking right now I can feel them you guys can probably hear them says in some of the forms and everything like that don't add rain to the windshield because you'll end up getting a, a squeaking sound you might be able to hear it when that squeaking sound comes up I add more rain to it and it's generally about the time to reapply it and then we get the nice you know clean flow of water sheeting off of the, the windshield there and I really I'm telling you right now I just don't I don't see any necessary or need to uh, not use rain because it works really well all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing. I can't do this anymore. This car does really well in the rain, the wind, 
and even in hurricane storms where you're getting a you know subtropical storm or winds coming at you on a cross section like that at 35 to 45 miles an hour um so thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and hit that bell button i'll see you guys again soon and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i do respond i'll see you soon